every good movie has a trilogy where we find out at the end who the real hero is, and we're about to do that. We've learned about the Rook, Hello. we've learned about the Bishop, Hello. but there's one more piece in the long-range family. That's the Queen. It's pretty simple. If you combine the power of the Rook and the Bishop, you get the power of the Queen. She can move up, down, left, right, and diagonal, making her the most powerful piece on the board, but just like your birthday, you only get one Queen. We've put the Queen right in the middle of the chessboard, just like we did with the last two pieces to show you. She goes up, she goes down, she goes left, she goes right, but we're not done because she's not a rook, she's a queen, she has the power of the bishop as well, and we just learned that the bishop can move along the diagonals of the chessboard, and if you were to count up all of these squares, well, you'd be here for a while, but if you did it correctly, you'd get to 27. Now, it's not quite correct to say the queen moves wherever she wants because there's 64 squares on the board. There's actually more squares that she cannot move to than she can move to. However, it's still the most powerful piece. Just make sure you're accurate. She moves like a rook and a bishop put together. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna highlight a square and you're gonna try to guess if she can move there. Can the queen move to this square? Yes, indeed, that is along the diagonal. Okay, let's try another one. Can the queen move to this square? Actually, that's a no. If we move diagonal, moving like a bishop, we would stay on the light squares and she can't move there. If she travels forward again, she is not able to move there. Hmm. Let's try another one. How about over here on H2? Nope, she can't quite get there either. If she moves diagonal, she would just barely miss. What about E1? Yep, she can move there. That's straight down the chessboard. <coughs> Hopefully by now, you have pretty good indication of her power. But how about when she wants to capture? Well, just like the rook and the bishop, she simply runs into a piece and takes it off the chessboard. We're upping our game a little bit. Not just because I've added more pieces than I usually do, but because I'm going to ask you to start thinking like a chess player, which means planning ahead. What if I told you there was a way for the white queen to capture all four black pieces one at a time without taking a break? Well, you'd have to do a little bit of planning. So what I want you to do here is pause your video and try to figure out what is the correct order for the white queen to capture four black pieces in four straight turns without black getting to move. Um. If you're back, that must mean you've solved it. The critical decision was the first move. If the queen comes over and captures this rook on the square c4, the question is, which piece to capture next? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at it. If we capture this rook, we could move down to capture the bishop, but that would be the end of the sequence. You could instead capture this bishop and then capture the rook, but then would you really be in a position to capture the final bishop? I don't think so. Capture, capture, we're on the B file, the bishop's on the C file, that would be a miss. Let's go back to the beginning and see what we should have done. Instead, the correct way to capture was to capture the rook on the square B7. Ow. Then on the next turn, we come across and capture the bishop, then we move diagonal, and on our final turn, we're on the C file, we're able to capture the black bishop. Now, of course, you don't usually get to move four times in a row. We're just having some fun, but I think we saw pretty clearly how the queen was able to capture. And here we see the white queen not being able to capture anything because her rooks are in the way. Now, let's get back to a real game where we would alternate moves. If our queen wants to capture the bishop, obviously our rook's in the way and the queen has not acquired any special powers. She can't jump over things. But if we move our rook out of the way, let's just say we move our rook backward, what would happen before we capture the black bishop? Well, it'd be black's turn and black would capture us. It would be a tragedy to lose our queen, even if we got a bishop in return. So I think it's much smarter in this position to move our other rook. Again, let's just perhaps go backward. That opens up our queen's diagonal and on the next turn, we could capture that black rook if it didn't see what was coming. Our last position is a bit of a challenge question. Can the white queen capture the rook? No way. Well, that's not much of a challenge. We know that. If the queen tries to travel diagonal, she would miss the rook. However, if I give the white queen two turns in a row, my question to you is not how could she capture the rook in two turns, because we know she can. How many different ways could she capture the rook? Hmm. You're definitely going to want to pause your videos to count all of the different sequences that are possible. I hope you had your spidey senses on 
because if a spider has eight legs, well, there was eight correct answers here. Let's start with some easy ones. We can go forward and then sideways. Okay, so through the square B5 definitely works. We'll put a red mark on that square. How about diagonal and then diagonal? Yeah, that works too. We'll put a red marker there. Okay, what about if we move down and then diagonal? Yeah, that works too. So we've got one, two, three. What about diagonal and then sideways? That works, we'll put a red marker there. How about sideways and then diagonal? Again, that works. How about diagonal to this square and then down? Yeah, that works too. It's getting a little complicated, but these are the ones we've done so far. Okay, well, which ones have we missed? We've missed two more. We can go sideways and forward. That makes it another red mark. And our final one's quite weird. The queen can go past the rook, then come back to get the rook from the square h3, and that would be our eighth and final answer. There should be eight red boxes on the board. The queen is almost all powerful. If you can remember she moves like the rook plus the bishop, maybe you'll be the queen of the house.